Hello everybody and welcome back to Carmsden Farm. Today we're going to be finishing this field. It's taken long enough. We still have the worker over there doing some stone picking. It's busy getting confused as usual. It's got to that point now where it's just confusing. It keeps going back over where it's already been. Um, I'm just waiting for a bit more lime to be produced. So, well, since this area here is finished, I might as well start the drilling. So, um, yeah, the fent tractor is available. It should be perfectly capable of... Um, running the drill. My drill is around here. We will have to roll the field as well. Uh, there's a chance that we'll get away with doing that in the next day or next month, uh, but it would be good to get it done today. So anyway, into the fence, get it started up. We'll be carting some more barley soon, but not until the price has increased. Uh, I'm told that in the latest patch, the price fluctuations have been improved massively, much more accurate. Uh, so yeah, we'll, uh, We'll wait and see. We should still have some uh, seed in here from the previous field. 52% and we don't want canola. We're past the time of doing canola drilling. We want to have, it was barley before so this is going to be wheat. There we go. A lovely wheat field. As with everything, I will start the job and work will probably continue. So yeah, when it's finished the stone picking, the worker can continue with the drill. We do still have field number six as well. Now that field is going to be problematic just because of the amount of workers. I think we're going to have to go with two again today. I think that's okay though. I think if we say one worker maximum uh, throughout the year, but then harvest time and drilling time, cultivation period, uh, we should just have up to two. And maybe the John Deere is going to be a more suitable tractor. In fact, the Fent is probably going to be better off on the spreader. This is better off being parked out of the way anyway. Just leave it there for now. Okay, right, so yeah, we're going to go around with the drill. Um, as I'm told, yeah, the stones aren't going to affect the yield too much. It is more to do with the wear on the machinery. And we are using the stones for lime production. I don't really want to do stones again, though, um, in this field. So we could say stone picking in each field once. I don't know. The main reason is just because of the size of the machine. It's not very big. It takes a very long time. I would love for there to be a mod. There might be one, actually. There could be a mod somewhere. Uh, which is that same machine but three times bigger or five times bigger, whatever I would take it, that is the only sort of unrealistic sort of machine that I would be willing to use like if we had this same drill and it was ten times the size, no way would I feature it in my videos, but I think for the stone picker just because of how repetitive and how slow that job actually is I would, I would definitely do that it'd be good so if it does exist We'll do it. I've just noticed the stone picker has once again got confused and is busy wasting my money. Let's just see what what is it? Oh, it's made it back to here again, so it's yes. Uh, um how annoying. I'm going to have to go and get some more seed, but I'm going to let this go, uh, we'll put it on a worker, and you can see where I have been up to, well, you kind of can, um, yeah, because that stone picker has been going back over where I have put lime, there is a section which looks like it needs lime, but actually it doesn't need lime, so I need to be careful there, there's no point in wasting it, this lime does need to go over all of fill number six as well, and I'm not forgetting the fact that we do still have loads and loads of grass fields, plus 
the one which we're going to inherit. Yes, I did do a vote in the previous episode, and it looks like there is an overwhelming amount of people who do want me to inherit it. So, yes, it looks like for number 23 is now ours. It's the one just the other side of the forest. We will go and take a look. If you didn't watch the previous episode, the reason why we are going to be acquiring it is because it is free. If you go on the purchase page for fields, it is set at zero, the price, so uh, yeah, I'm just sort of giving it a reason for for getting it. We're going to inherit it, uh, rather than just saying that we're going to buy it for nothing. It just seems... <laughs> it just seems a bit better. Um, anyway, yes, it's 29%, so we do need to go and get some seed fairly quickly. Very important. There we go. Uh, the Matty Ferguson is still moving, but probably, again, trying to waste my money. Oh no, it's... Uh, it's actually doing something, but it is full. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, for that tiny strip, I'm sure it's going to barely pick anything up. So we'll leave it to it. The more important thing for now is to get seed. And I don't know if it's actually going to stop. Once it has done that strip, it probably won't do. It'll probably just keep going, so I need to go and manually stop it. All of those stones yet to come. And I know you're probably in agreement that the stones will get boring pretty quickly. So that is just literally going to be a worker's job. I'm not going to be doing that. Just going to leave it to it. Apart from emptying, I will have to go and empty it every now and then. But I actually look forward to the winter. I think this is probably the first time I have looked forward to the winter in Farming Simulator. And the reason behind that is simply because we do have so many interesting little places to go to, like the forest, for example. Uh, if we just go on here, I'm not really on the best page here. There we go. You can see that we own all of this, or at least we have access to it. So that would be interesting. Um, yes, it, it will actually be very interesting to see if I can cut those trees down. So it's considered public land. So we will see. Hmm. But yeah, it's. Um, Definitely something which I would quite like to do. Some forestry. Over the winter months. Obviously I don't want to be spending days and days. We do need to get back through to the spring. Uh, that's our field too. Really nice field. And I think I would quite like to do poplar fairly soon. Uh, so I need to find an appropriate field. Maybe 23. Might be the one to go for. Right. Has that stone picker finished? It pretty much has. There we go. Yes, yeah, so it was just going back over where it's already been, so no point having it wasting our money. If I'm not mistaken, we may already have a bag of seed over here. Then again, maybe it was a different series, or maybe I did take it back and I've put it somewhere. We will soon find out. It'll be on here. Seeds. No, it obviously wasn't this map. It must have been the other map. Right. Okay, well, in that case. Uh, we should be able to pick up four, actually, with this. We'll go with that. This is the reason why I don't really like running several series at the same time. Um, even, yeah, this proves even running two can get confusing. I'm not going to be going over two at a time. I don't know how you feel as a viewer. Do you think more than two is too much? Do you think two is too much? Would you prefer me just to do seven days a week on the same map? Anyway, there we go. I should really have a trailer. The drill is fairly close by. I think he's just heading back across again. Should be just over there. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, I will uh, just wait for it to come back and then we'll fill it up to the top. Should have enough to get back. In the meantime, I can jump into the Massey Ferguson tractor. Uh, there is a bit of a slither there, actually. But no, I know it does continue because it was doing it all over here. It was slowly progressing back over in this direction. Okay. So at least that means we can get another 8,000 litres of lime. 
It should be more than enough to finish the field. Really, I should get this started in field number six. I'll just park it here. I'm definitely up for suggestions for winter work. What would you like to see me do over the winter? Right, I need, I need to boom out, but we do a four on here, so that's going to make it a bit heavy. Hopefully I can reach. Should be good enough. There we go. Okay, that's taken two of them. Probably easier to get it from the back. Pretty good. Right, okay, so that can continue. Definitely enough there to finish, but I need to make sure I have finished the lime spreading over there. Park this out of the way. But hopefully I have enough time, yeah I think I do, just to uh, do a lap of this field over here to start the stone picker off on a worker. I really like this area. I think when the sun is just going down, this area here looks beautiful. Well, actually, a lot of the map looks beautiful, but this piece here stands out. It is just an amazing map. And I see comments in every video saying how amazed everyone is. This was a mistake. Just do enough for it to turn around, otherwise it's going to be crashing into trees. Luckily, this field is much smaller. A deer, a deer running away. It was watching me for a while, and then it suddenly got scared. I'm still yet to go and see the stream. I'm convinced there is a stream over there. I will take a look. And we're back at the starting point. So this is where I can set it off on a worker. Uh, this is the best way of doing it up and down the field. It might miss a bit to begin with, but that's fine. There we go. Oh, it's going to go that way. Right. Well, whatever. It's fine. Let's go and find a stream which might not exist. Just the way the land slopes down either side, there must be a stream at the end of here. I think it's where the fish are. Yay, it is. Right, um, it is just so beautiful. I've shown the fish before. And it's, it's just so well balanced. It's not like there's fish everywhere. You have to actually find them. And now that I'm recording, I probably won't find a fish. I might have already whizzed past one. Or maybe it's not deep enough. It gets deeper here. It looks too shallow. I think they're probably in a different area. But yeah, I showed them in my first video. It's brilliant. Anyway, there's enough fish hunting. We have work to do. <laughs> we have to get this field finished off. Uh, and uh, might just about get it rolled today. As I said, it's not super important to get it done today. We just need to have it done before November. I will come back up here and do this piece with the drill. So you can see that we've been there and I think it was about here. So there's no point going where we've already been. Yes, this is where it is. It's pretty much where that line is. going to start to go dark fairly quickly. Now it is October. That should be good. 
a little bit further left. Just match up with this line, that should be perfect. Yeah, that's good, okay. And this is yet to be drilled. That should conclude the field. I think we're done. Yep. So, I'll get this taken back over to the stone crusher. We'll get it filled up again if we can do. There might not be enough yet. Uh, but yeah, the worker can do the majority of the field with that drill. Should have enough seed, I would hope, to finish the field, at least until the piece that I have to do. The stone picker is probably full, so it's going to have to come back here for emptying. And then I'm going to look at the prices for a quad bike, because I did download the mod about a week ago. And I never did anything with it, because I knew that we needed the money. But if it's not too expensive, like just a few thousand pounds, that's going to be so handy. Because we do need to get around, we actually do have more fields than I sort of show. We have uh, a number of grass fields. It's just, the last few episodes have just been so busy in these two. And then it's going to go so quiet, we're not going to have to do anything else here when the rolling is done. Just the spraying in the, in the spring. And of course, fertilising and harvesting. So, yeah, anyway, how much is a... Let's just take a look. How much is a quad bike? 13,000. If only we could get one used. That was the cue for one to appear. I so desperately want this. I think we can buy it used. Uh, let me just find the common denominator for discounts. 72, It's usually somewhere between 50 and 70-ish. So because I am going to be adding the quad bike to the discount anyway, I can't be quite as generous as this. So 50%, we'll have it half price. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I don't know how you add mods to the sale page. I know how you add a base game machine to it. But yeah, this was six and a half thousand pounds. The base model. I will be adding some hours to it as well to make it used. But not right now. We must get the work done. I have to do that in the XML file because I don't think... No, the easy development mod which I used in FS19 I don't think that that exact mod is out because you could change the hours on there. Anyway, this is a really nice quad bike. I'll put the link down below. You do have lights as well. And a rear light. So we can tow something with this, but I wouldn't really want to be towing much with it. Uh, maybe a small trailer, might just about get away with the small trailer. That's the sort of idea and this is probably going to be instead of the uh, the Gator, as much as I love the Gator, just because it, it probably has around the same capabilities in FS22 as, uh, as this. So we'll just keep our heavy haulage of bales uh, on a on a much bigger trailer on the back of a tractor. Ah, oh, just look at that. It looks so realistic. And you've got the smoke there coming out of the chimney. I've just got to do a quick zoom in. Let me just do a quick 35. There we go, look at that. With the bird flying over too. The timing is just perfect. Beautiful. Anyway, the idea behind this is to go and see the field which we've inherited. I think we probably get there by going down here. But this also doubles up as another bit of a, a map tour, just because it is so nice. And this is the right time of day to see it as well, in the autumn. Some amazing colours. 
Oh, deer on the road. I'm not too sure. I haven't actually looked, but I wonder if there are any deer signs to warn motorists of of animals on the road. Oh, look at this. I know I should be in the tractor doing work, but I could not resist. Okay, this is film number 23. This is what we've inherited, and you, you can see clearly um, that the entranceway has overgrown a bit. There's nobody been here for a little while. So our neighbour has given it to us. There we go. It's had potatoes in it. But ownership transfers. Value zero. And to make very clear, this could have been decided either way. Uh, the majority vote was for me to buy what to, to acquire this field. So I don't want anyone saying, oh you're cheating. <laughs> okay, right, so. I think we're going to have to wait until the spring before we start to work this field. We're just way too busy. Uh, but that's fine because we can put a spring crop in here. And the other thing I wanted to see was if we could actually fell trees in the forest, which is sort of common land. Let's just see here. We're going to need a chainsaw anyway, so we'll buy it now. These could still be on our field boundary, so we'll go right into the forest. Oh, that's interesting. I think... Yeah, I think this has been done like this. Because you can see on the minimap, we actually do have loads of trees. Um, but Auction David has not filled it with trees. And that's probably because of performance. If, if you did fill this whole area with trees, it would likely cause lag. But there is a tree here. I'm not going to cut it down, but I'm going to just attempt to... Uh, to, to do as, as if we were going to cut it down. Do all the actions. Yeah, we, we can. There we go. So, yeah, if um, if I wanted to, I could take some of these trees down. There we go. Brilliant. Yeah, so as it turns out, it is actually a massive field of grass. So maybe we can do something with it, if it's possible to get in here. I, I don't know. Uh, so have we just acquired two fields? I don't know. <laughs> that would be uh, pretty good. Right, anyway, that was absolutely brilliant. Love it. Uh, but we do need to get back. We have stuff to do... Somebody's going to tell me to close the gate. So there we go, we've closed the gate. Brilliant quad bike, which will not just be for commuting on, we will actually be towing stuff with it. I think we will get that trailer. Just need to save a bit more money first. We have more barley to sell. But I've been saying for some time that something to commute with is necessary. Okay, this is full, and it decided to go back over where it's already been again. I'm going to try and put a vote in nearly every video. Today's vote is should we switch off stones. Um, now this isn't going to be something which is forever. Uh, I could turn it on again because whenever I need to have lime, we do need to get stones. Um, but it's just sort of to change the rule of having to stone pick every field. So if I don't want to, I don't have to, basically. So, yep, please do vote down below. Park this around the back. There we go. I take it the drill is getting on okay. Yeah, no issues here, except for there. Uh, so the light is going. It's definitely getting pretty dark. But I do, at the same time, have this tractor, which could be doing something. I think I'm going to take this off over here, and I am going to just do a bit of rolling until it gets too dark, because it will actually get pitch black, we won't be able to see a thing. Even with all the lights on, it still makes it pretty difficult. But I think we do still have another hour of farming in this in-game day. We can't just afford to finish straight away. It's got to be night time, not dusk. 
<laughs> JCB's done that thing again. I think, um, yes, if you turn the engine off whilst lowering the hydraulics, it will continue with that action. That seems to be the reason for that. This roller is another thing that I would quite like to upgrade. It's also pretty difficult to see where we've been. I think I'll just go up here immediately. Yeah, so um, we are going to finish this field in this episode, but it's going to have to be tomorrow morning. These fields are massive. I think this is the perfect map to buy that big case tractor on. That's what we can work towards. Let's go to the 41st. And I have not ignored those comments saying that we can upgrade this tractor to 300 horsepower for around 10,000 pounds. Yep, thank you to everybody who posted that. I have noted it. But at the moment, we're not actually lacking horsepower anywhere. But we do need to upgrade a lot of the equipment, so I'm sure eventually we will be. Uh, but the, the, the goal is sort of to get really big equipment, as long as we can get it down the road, and then put it on that case tractor. So yeah, we do still have that top piece to do, but I can't see what I'm doing properly, so I'm going to go to bed. We'll leave the workers to it. <laughs> they don't need to rest. And actually, I might as well fill this up consume the rest of these bags. My JCB is somewhere up here. Yeah, I can see it glistening. There it is. Doing a circus trick. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to pull around the corner. Should be okay there. The worker should still be going somewhere in this field. Can't see it. And there we go. Right, so the JCB can go back in the yard. And then I'm off to bed. I'm back. So it's six o'clock, which is our normal start, but because it is October, it's still pretty dark. Uh, the sun isn't even starting to uh, pop up yet above the horizon. So we are gonna be still struggling for light a bit, um, but hopefully it's gonna, yeah, you can see it's just coming up over there slightly. There's a bit of, bit of light over there. Anyway, yep, I did turn the traps engine off, by the way, for anybody wondering. It was not running all night. By the time we finish this, it should be fairly light. But I just can't afford, I cannot afford to start later. We have too much to do. So, it's not a big area. The uh, stone picker probably needs to be emptied again. The thing is that whenever I stop it and then go and empty it, if I, when I set it off again, it goes back over where it's already been instead of the intelligent thing. I'm not too sure why. Yeah, this is all it is. It's not a big area. There's the sunrise. 
It's okay looking in that direction. Give it 10 minutes, it'll probably be so much lighter. Oh yeah, look at that. So red and vibrant. I think suddenly it does just ping and then it gets much lighter instantly. I'm not too sure how far away we are from that, but that is just stunning. I thought that was the sunrise, that's the moon. That's the sun. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's... When you see the two together, easy to distinguish. The lighting, that is. Obviously, I know the difference between <laughs> the moon and the sun. I'm a big fan of space. But, uh, yes, one thing which kind of annoys me is this game doesn't have stars. And I know it's not a game about space, but it has night time. And at night time, if it's clear, you have stars. I would love to see stars. It would be so good. Right, so this is probably going to be our final pass. I agree that we are... <laughs> We're doing an awful lot of work in one field here, um, but the end is near, and then we can start to do other stuff as well. But obviously, if I didn't do all this effort now, we would have a rubbish harvest, so it, it's going to pay off. Definitely worthwhile. But in the future, if we can have machinery which is twice the size, providing it would go down the road, uh, it, yeah, it'll make short work of it. The stone picking has been the, the kind of painful part. Anyway, yeah, this is going to be in the other field in the next episode. We'll be able to get it done. No doubt about it. The roller is still going. You can see the tractor over there. There it is, a stone picker. And there's the roller. So, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.